Welcome to Worldwide Business. I'm Kathy Ireland. The battle between in-store retail and online retail wages on. So the question is, how can stores not only survive, but thrive in an omni-channel environment? Joining us to explain the operational challenges retailers face and how they can overcome them and continue to thrive is Jill Blanchard, CEO of Spar Group. Welcome, Jill. Thanks, Kathy. It's great to be here. Jill, how has the omni-channel environment challenged manufacturers and retailers in store? The omni-channel environment has put a huge strain on both the retailers as well as the manufacturers. Instead of just having to compete with the store down the street, mm -hmm. they now have to compete with what consumers can do on their smartphones and online. Mm -hmm. And by competing, it's more than just having a dot-com or an online presence. It's really about maximizing the entire shopping experience for today's consumer. So this creates a number of challenges. First, the retailers have to be more efficient in store to maintain cost competitiveness. Mm -hmm. And they need to improve their product availability and make it simple to search for products in store, similar to how it's simple to search for a product online. Right. And they need to engage the consumer more in the store and retailers are leaning on manufacturers to help them with this. All of these challenges together is resulting in a very big manpower issue for both the retailers and manufacturers. And so who is SPAR and how are you helping your clients overcome these hurdles? So SPAR is a global retail services company that provides a variety of in-store retail services, mostly to manufacturers and retailers, and mostly in traditional retail stores. We offer our clients a way to get an optimized and efficient method of doing these in-store types of tasks so that they can focus more on getting more out of the store and into consumers' hands. In this Worldwide Business Field Report, we take a closer look at SPAR's solutions. With nearly 50 years of experience, SPAR is one of the largest and most experienced suppliers of third-party retail services. They are also one of the most technologically advanced, which allows them to provide the highest levels of efficiency and productivity. Independent pharmacies run very lean staffing models, focus more on day-to-day -day operations than long-term strategic vision. At HealthMart, we take it upon ourselves to help identify trends, and then we leverage SPAR to implement those trends in our stores. This is a further advantage to manufacturers, whereby we give them opportunity to merchandise and promote their items in the fragmented independent segment. SPAR frees up retail sales associates to concentrate on customer service and sales. In addition, they help assure that manufacturers' products are continually available and in the best position to sell. The reason we use SPAR really comes down to efficiency. They provide us with the ability to scale as we grow. We can use them to help us conduct new store sets as well as remodels. Really provides us with a level of flexibility, a great deal of responsiveness, and frankly, they're easy to work with. After we brought SPAR in eight years ago, they've helped increase front-end sales 15% in stores that utilize their services versus those that don't. They've also helped us maintain high levels of customer satisfaction and retention. It's really been a great partnership. Jill, can you please share a little more about your thoughts on the current state of the traditional retail store industry? Sure, contrary to what you may have seen in some media circles, traditional retail is not dying under the thumb of online retail. In fact, it's really poised for strong growth. Over the next few years, traditional retail is going to comprise 90% of a $28 trillion global retail sales market. And in the US, over the next decade, traditional retail sales is going to grow $2 trillion more than online retail. So it's a very viable, significant, and growing channel. And so what are some of the factors that are leading to in-store retailers' growth? Sure, there are many. I'll start with this, Kathy. 80% of consumers prefer to shop in-store, but here's the best part. When, when they do shop in-store, mm -hmm. they typically spend seven times more than shopping mm -hmm. online. So if you're a retailer or a manufacturer, this is a really important statistic to right. not just know, but to leverage. And today's consumers want to try before they buy. So for mm -hmm. most categories, 75% of consumers prefer to have some sort of a product interaction mm -hmm. before they buy that product. And consumers want immediate gratification. I know I fall into this category. I don't want to wait for the box to show up at home. So Jill, where does SPAR fit into all of this? 
Well, Spar is well situated both in the US and globally to provide the retailer and penny manufacturer world with an optimized and productive way of ultimately getting more out of the store and into consumers' hands. We have spent close to 50 years honing retail service skills, and we've got over a dozen clients that have been with us for over 15 years compared to the average mm. company in our industry has been here for less than 15 years. We have developed and our clients use the industry's most comprehensive and advanced retail operations system that we call SparTrack. We're continuously evolving with mm -hmm. the latest tools and technology to ensure that our customers on their behalf that we can be very efficient in store. And what kinds of solutions do you provide? So we provide a variety of in-store services, such as merchandising. So we could mm -hmm. be putting out a new product that we talked about before, or putting mm -hmm. out some new prices, or setting up a display. We do audits, and so we'll, we'll, we'll go into stores on behalf of a retailer or manufacturer to, to check for compliance to certain conditions. We'll do new store resets and remodels. We'll do installation and assembly in store of fixtures and displays, and maintaining a digital device that we talked about before as well. Right. Uh, we'll do um, brand ambassador work in store, so mm. we're, we're working with the consumers, product demos, sales mm -hmm. assist, and many more. And could you please give us a few specific examples of some recent unique solutions? Sure. One of our global customers, and actually one of the biggest brands in the world, recently came to us with a request to develop a customized solution that they could use in multiple countries across multiple retail service providers mm -hmm. to execute and analyze a pretty complex multi-level audit. Another example would be a live test that we're doing with a customer using image recognition. So mm -hmm. this is the idea of taking a picture of a shelf or a display right. and comparing it to an ideal picture of that shelf or display and having the software where find any discrepancies there. Another thing that we're testing is the idea of marrying crowdsourcing with our mer merchandising skills to create a service that we call crowd merchandising. So it's a really fast and cost-effective way for our clients to ensure that we're sending our skilled merchandising specialists into only those stores that need that work. And Jill, can you tell us about your clients? Who are they? Sure. Most of our business is with the Fortune 500 1,000 companies, mm -hmm. and our website has a list of some of them, as well as how, how long we've worked together. We're really fortunate to have worked with over a dozen for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. Our retail clients are stores that we're in every week, and our manufacturer clients produce products that we use virtually every day. So from entertainment to healthcare, from toys to consumer electronics, from household supplies to office supplies, and much more. And Jill, earlier you mentioned a few challenges retailers and manufacturers face with the growth of omni-channel retail. Can you expand on that? 70% of the time of a retail sales personnel is spent on non-sales and non-customer mm. service tasks, like merchandising. So only 30% is left to focus on their number one goal of making that sale. Right. And there are a few other contributing factors to the overall manpower challenge. There is the age-old issue of out-of-stocks, and so this is the idea that we go to the store for a product that's not there on the shelf, and, and our business, we call that an out-of-stock, and it ultimately translates to a lost sale. Every year, there's over $600 billion in lost sales globally. So if we could affect just a fraction of that, that's a huge opportunity for manufacturers and retailers. And finally, Jill, what do you see for the future of retail and your business? You know, L2 founder and NYU professor Scott Galloway really said it best in a recent presentation, stores are the new black, and, and they definitely mm -hmm. aren't going away. In fact, with online retailers, the foray into the physical presence, mm -hmm. there are only going to be more. So if a shopper isn't immediately engaged when they walk into that store, if it isn't simple to find their product, if they aren't being helped by a salesperson that helps them make an informed decision, and if they aren't having an enjoyable visit, it's likely that that consumer leaves that store without ever having made a purchase. And so right. it's incredibly competitive today with what consumers can do on smartphones and online. Mm -hmm. Our business, too, also has to evolve with that in mm -hmm. that we need to be more productive, cost effective, and efficient for our customers, which is why we're constantly involving our business model with things like smart pictures, mm -hmm. like crowdsourcing, and we're well suited to provide the type of talent that's really needed for today's changing omni-channel retail world. Things like right. brand ambassadors and sales assists, and even the people to maintain the, the digital devices that we're seeing in store today. 
But I'll close by saying, as I said before, the most important thing that we can do for our clients to win this war is to be a global solutions provider with them and not mm. just a people provider. That's really what's going to help our clients thrive in today's changing world. It sounds like SPAR is truly making a positive difference for retailers, for manufacturers, and for customers. And thank you so much for thank joining you, us Kathy. today. Thank you, Kathy. So nice to meet you. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you for watching. For Worldwide Business, I'm Kathy Ireland.